On Friday, you're eating your burgers. You go, on Monday, I'm going to start my diet. Because no one starts their diet tomorrow. And you get to Monday. What do people do? No carbs. <laughs> no carbs. What do you think is going to happen Tuesday? You're going to be flubbing, starving. Time of the how here. Thank you for joining me as always. And today, yes, we are going to talk about a pill that maybe one day in the crazy future, we're all flying around in the sky in our magic cars. You would be able to take a pill that would essentially allow your body to go through the same process as if you were going to the gym and working out. Now, I have a lot to say about this, but let's start with the facts. Because a bunch of news outlets have this story. It's clearly been sent to them as some sort of press release and they've run it as news. But yes, the headline, and this is what I want to talk about, says, forget about the gym, put that in your brain. Australian scientists are making a pill that contains the benefits of exercise. Now, thankfully, when we get into the nitty gritty, we do start to go, oh man, I get it. Because it says, Australian scientists are attempting to make a pill containing many of the benefits of exercise. But it won't be a medicine for lazy couch potatoes. The futuristic therapy is designed to help immobile patients unable to exert themselves at an intensity that delivers the rewards of physical activity. Australian National University researchers could have already discovered the key to making it a reality. They've identified unique molecular messages that travel to our brains and potentially our eyes immediately after exercise. The team believes it may be possible to hijack these and bundle them into a vitamin-like supplement that delivers some of the benefits of physical activity. They've also unearthed some promising results into the benefits of exercise on the retina which converts light into neural signals that are sent to the brain. They're now studying the molecular signals impact on the central nervous system, retinal health and eye diseases such as macular degeneration. And then it says researchers are working towards isolating these particles so they can potentially be recoded and placed into a pill. So essentially, if you have a or some kind of disease that isn't allowing you to do what you want to do in the real world, somebody one day may be able to give you a pill, you take it and it feels like you've gone for a 20 minute run or something like that. But what really got me is, well, it's twofold. One, how the hell are all of these articles sort of pitched to you? Oh man, you don't want to go to the gym. The gym sucks. Why do you want to go to the gym anymore? Which is a problem in itself. But also too, you know what happened to this kind of technology. You already know what's going to happen. It's happened time and time again. As soon as it does become a medicinal benefit for people that are suffering, all of a sudden it will enter the more casual world and some people will want to do it. Which is why we have to knock this on the head right now. Going to the gym and being in shape and doing whatever you want to do in order to embrace fitness should not be a hardship. It just shouldn't be a hardship. And I don't understand where this has come from. Like, is it hard to do? Yes, of course it is. If a magic genie came in here right now and said, you know, you won't have to put on any calories and everything will be fine. You would go to the gym for a couple of hours or you can sit here and eat a pizza and both of them are going to turn you into a big buff guy. You'd be like, well, I'll take the pizza for obvious reasons. But that doesn't mean that when you go to the gym, it should be like, oh man, I don't want to be here. If only there was some kind of magical pill that would allow me not to be here. And if that is the case, you're doing it all wrong. That's the point. And that's why when I read this, look, what an amazing time we live in that we may actually be able to do this. Like somebody with, um, I can't remember what it said now, but with one of the, the diseases could actually still feel the benefits of going to the gym without going to the gym. That's fantastic. And that's something that should be celebrated. But we shouldn't all of a sudden spin it in a way that goes, ha, 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 you people without diseases. You still have to go to the gym. You should want to go to the gym. And if you don't want to go to the gym, go and find something else to do. I'm not going to do my usual list because I say it all the damn time. But I really do believe that this is one of the areas about why many people just give up on fitness and give up on diets and anything like that because they deliberately make it hard. It's like the Instagram post. Oh, I got up at 3.30 a.m. Why did you get up at 3.30 a.m.? Did you have to get up at 3.30 a.m.? Or have you decided that there's this bizarre, I don't even know what the right word would be, but do you feel like you have to put yourself in a horrible situation in order to get rewards and, and just desserts? Bad choice of words. But no, of course you don't. It takes a long ass time to achieve your fitness goals. And realistically, you're never going going to achieve your fitness goals because even when you do become I don't know Brad Pitt and Fight Club there's the usual one you won't look at yourself and think you look like Brad Pitt from Fight Club you think well I could look better and I could do this and I'm carrying some fat there and so on and so forth right that's just what human beings do so it's a waste of time focusing on that anyway but also why would you I mean like if you hate your job and you really 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 hate your job okay maybe you don't actually leave it but I bet you think about leaving it all the damn time and eventually maybe push comes to shove and you talk to your partner and you decide you know what I'm going to go out there and I'm going to become a fisherman instead because you've always dreamed about coming a fisherman why the hell would you take that same kind of a feeling and put it into your more personal life where you do get to choose what you do with your free time you wouldn't so if all of a sudden you are sat on that couch and you know you got to go to the gym for 90 minutes to do whatever the hell it would be of course you're not going to want to go because you have turned it into a difficult thing so stop it right now find a way to make it work for you find a way where you're excited to go find a way where you actually say no to other things that you consider to be fun because you have this amazing fun thing and all you got to do is go to, I don't know, a boxing club. Damn it, I'm doing it. A boxing club, an MMA gym, a wrestling training center, the actual gym. I don't know, 
mountain climbing fencing. You don't think being a fencer takes some kind of fitness? You're wiggling your arm like this all the time. Plus you have to get technique and all that kind of stuff. You could become a stuntman. I'm pretty sure if you go on a set and do stuntman stuff all day, you're probably going to get in some kind of a shape. I mean, that's a very, very weird one, a very, very specific one. I'd probably have to do it with something else. But this is the same with your diet too, right? It happens all the time. On Friday, you're eating your burgers. You go, on Monday, I'm going to start my diet. Because no one starts their diet tomorrow. And you get to Monday. What do people do? No carbs. <laughs> no carbs. What do you think is going to happen Tuesday? You're going to be flubbing, starving. And of course you're going to be starving because you didn't give yourself the energy that you need. And this is why we should never have called calories, calories. We should have called them units of energy, right? You need 100 units of energy to move. And this is two units of energy. This is 10 units of energy. And then people would have done it more. Now, I'm not saying you can't do a no carb diet, right? But if you are not enjoying it and you cannot find a way to make it work for you, you are going to quit. You ain't special, bro. You ain't some magical person that can all of a sudden break through to the other side when you're that miserable. You will go into the cupboard and you will find that chocolate bar that you hid under your broccoli and you'll smash it. And as soon as you do do that, your brain will go, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. And you're going to be donuts and you're going to be having cheese and you're going to be having Cheetos. And all of a sudden, everything's going to be doomed and gloomed. It'll be come to Wednesday and you'll be back at square one. But if all of a sudden you go, okay, what can I do? Well, maybe I'm drinking too many fizzy drinks. I'll switch to diet drinks or, you know, maybe I can have rice instead of chips. I mean, you know, things like that. There's still sources of carbohydrate, of course. But if you can cut out the super, well, unhealthy food that you know is unhealthy, that is a really, really good first step. Then you do that for a few weeks and eventually you're going to plateau. And then you can say, okay, well, I need to shift things around. I mean, in 2021, it is so easy to find healthy recipes that also kind of taste like that thing that you want, like protein ice cream. Protein ice cream is not some incredible invention. But when I was first doing this, it just wasn't a thing because nobody had come up with it. Well, actually, it was probably because whey protein sucked back when I started lifting weight. But now you have so many different choices of whey protein. You can put that in a blender. You can put some fruit in there and whatever the hell else you want. You can blend it up and it kind of does taste like ice cream. And no, it's not as good as Ben and Jerry's, but there has to be some sacrifice, right? There has to be some dedication and that's where it all comes in. So when I read articles like this and straight away, where was it? Where was that one line that drove me absolutely nuts? But it won't be a medicine for lazy couch potatoes. You don't have to be a lazy couch potato or you can be a couch potato, but you can be an active one. So when you get in, you can be potato wing on your sofa, but also you do go out there and go for your run or go for your bike ride or whatever the hell it would be. Some people love going for bike rides. Why don't you call up a friend and say to a friend, let's go for a bike ride together. And then it can be a social thing too. You could even do that at the gym, but do not be that guy that just hangs around by machines talking to his mates for 20 minutes because everybody else will hate you. And you don't want that. You don't want to be hated anywhere you go. But it's crazy fascinating though, before I get too off topic, the fact that we can tie things into our eyes of all things. Like, have you ever looked in the gym after you've been training and go, man, sick pump in my bicep as I look at my jacked eyes? If you have been saying that, you are a very, very weird individual. But I honestly think before anything, before you even get educated and before you get the information and before you're even, you know, being as intense in the gym as you need to be, if you have not got your mindset right when it comes to it being fun and enjoyable and entertaining and something you want to do, it should be a privilege. I mean, is this not a great example of that? Some people can't go and do it. They have no means to do it because very sadly, life has dealt them a bad hand. So while we are somewhat healthy and we are somewhat able to jump around the place, we should be over the moon that we get to do this. And you don't have to smash your ass five days in a gym every single week. No one's making you do it. Like how many times have you, oh, I can't, I can't eat like that. It's off plan. Yes, you can, but you're choosing not to. And that's how you should spin it as well. You should pat yourself on the back for having that kind of dedication and that kind of self-discipline, right? It's a good thing. It's an amazing thing. And then when you do want to gorge, you will have earned it, right? Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. So absolutely fascinating thing. Hopefully it does come off so people can, you know, experience going to the gym if they can't go to the gym. But anytime you see this article, when people go, oh my gosh, the majestic nature of a pill gym, just shut up, shut up, shut up right now and move on and go and do something else. Well, that was just a massive rant, wasn't it? Didn't know where it was going to go. Turns out it was going to be a massive rant. But please do like the video, share the video and subscribe to the bell, ding, ding, so you know when other videos are going live. There is another video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Write whatever the hell you want in the comment box because YouTube loves it. We do it for the algorithm. Also, look, we don't get likes and dislikes anymore. No, it's over there, isn't it? I can't remember. You just, you see the likes and I can see the dislikes on the back end. Otherwise, it's just a thumb. <laughs> Strange world we live in. Also, grillamind.com forward slash Simon. Use code Simon to get 10% off. Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook. Again, that's the whole thing I've been talking about. I'm cheap plug now, but it has healthy, sustainable recipes in there. So you ain't going to want to eat a bag of chips and instead you'll eat whatever the hell we're selling to you, right? Well, I think it's really good. Otherwise, I wouldn't put my name to it. You can disagree and call me an asshole. That's also fine. Again, the link is in the description. Use Simon 15 for 15% off. Patreon.com forward slash Simon 316. If you want to support me that way, Simon of the big cartel.com for merchandise.
I'm on Cameo, Instagram and Twitter, Simon316. Send me a bunch of videos react to and articles like this because I love it. Otherwise, have a great day. If you really are suffering when it comes to fitness today, I want you to figure out how you can make it fun, then get in touch with me and I'll give you a hug. Won't, but you know what I mean. Speak to you soon.